this is Geography Jeff and I'm going to be talking to you about the coastal transportation process of Longshore Drift. Here I am in Overstrand which is in the north of Norfolk and I'm going to talk to you about Longshore Drift. Now waves are created by the wind. Now the prevailing wind in this direction is the most common wind and using a compass um, I can check what direction the wind is coming from. Now today it's actually coming from a sort of north northeasterly direction but the prevailing wind, the most common one, is actually from that direction which is normally from the northwest. so that'll be the direction the, the wind is usually coming from. Now as the wind travels over the surface of the water it makes the waves through friction as it pushes the top of the water faster than the bottom. You can sort of envisage this or practice it in the bath. If you sit in the bath and you blow on the water, you can create a little wave yourself by blowing on it. So, if you have um, the wind blowing over a larger distance, then you're going to get bigger waves. And that distance that the wind blows over is called the fetch. Now, if you look at the waves, okay, you can see the waves come in. And as the wave comes in, we call that the swash. So an incoming wave where it's all white is a swash. Then you see the wave comes back out, and if you follow me, I can show you. So, if you see this wave, it's going to come in here and it's going to hit my feet, and this is the swash, okay? The swash is created by the power of the wind. Then you can see it flows back out. That's called the backwash, and the backwash is purely due to gravity. So gravitational pull, because it's on a slope, makes the water flow back out. Now the waves travel at an angle when they hit the beach. They don't always, the swash doesn't travel in a straight line. So today, it looks like the wind today is coming from the northeast, so the waves are coming in at an angle in this direction. And this is what longshore drift is. So, you can see the sediment on the beach. As the swash comes in at an angle, it moves the sediment up along the beach and then the backwash takes it back out in a straight line and then the swash takes it back up this way and the backwash moves it back out. So if I was to show you my walking, you can see what happens. Sand from being along the beach. 